Hey, welcome back. One of the key features in Microsoft 365 is Content Search, which is designed for when the full-fledged search case management of e-discovery is not required. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate Certification course. After this lesson, you should be able to use Content Search in Microsoft 365, configure search permission filtering, search for third-party data, describe when to use scripts for advanced searches, and contact and conduct a data subject request search for GDPR. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's understand what is content search all about. In contrast to e-discovery searches, the content search feature in the Compliance Center has no limits on the number of mailboxes and sites that you can search, nor on the number of searches that can run at the same time. You can use the Content Search eDiscovery tool in the Compliance Center in Office 365 or Microsoft 365 to search in place items such as email, documents, and instant messaging conversation in your Office 365 organization. You can use this tool to search for items in Office 365 services like Exchange Online mailboxes and public folders, SharePoint Online sites and OneDrive for Business accounts, Skype for Business conversations, Microsoft Teams, Office 365 groups, and Yammer groups. After you run a content search, after you run a content search, the number of content location and an estimated number of search results are displayed in the search statistics. You can also quickly view statistics such as the content locations that have the most items that match the search query. So how can you design your content search? When designing or planning a content search, you must first consider several questions that help define the structure and purpose of your search. You should then determine whether you want to break larger searches into smaller searches that will execute more quickly as well as how to search for and delete email when a large amount of your users are getting, for example, a phishing attack email message that you need to immediately delete. So what are the, some of the content search considerations? First of all, you should consider these questions what I mentioned over here. Who should create and run the content search? And what type of content search do you want to create? What keywords should be used for the search? And what conditions should be used? And do you want to search all location or only specific locations? So how to configure the search permissions? Filtered search permissions can be configured to allow an e-discovery manager to search only a subset of mailboxes and sites in a Microsoft 365 organization. Search permissions filtering is configured by creating a filter that uses a supported recipient filter to limit which mailboxes can be searched. You can also create filters to specify what mailbox or site content can be searched as well. To run the compliance security filter commandlets, you must be a member of the organization management role group in your Office 365 Security and Compliance Center and connect Windows PowerShell to both the Security and Compliance Center and to your Exchange Online organization. How do you search for third-party data? To search or place a hold on any type of third-party data that you have imported into Microsoft 365, you can use kind colon external data message property value pair in the keyword box of the content search or when creating a query based hold and this content search feature enable you to search for items that were imported into mailbox in microsoft 365 from a third party data source and how can you manage gdpr data subject request to manage investigation in response to a dsr submitted by a person in your organization you can use the DSR case tool in the Office 365 Security and Compliance Center to find content stored in any user mailbox in your organization, which includes Skype for Business Conversation and one-on-one -on -one chat in Microsoft Teams, all mailboxes associated with an Office 365 group, and all team mailboxes in Microsoft Teams, 
all SharePoint online sites and OneDrive for business accounts in your organization, all team sites and Office 365 group site in your organization, and all public folders in Exchange Online as well. And using a DSR case tool, you can create a separate case for each DSR investigation. That concludes this lesson. In the next video, we're going to learn about advanced e-discovery. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.